This is the standard Express LRS 2.4 GHz receiver. Very small, very light and with the very impressive range. However, in some of the cases the antenna used over here is not that small. Because it's a dipole and if you try to fit it in the very tight space of the very fancy or just a small quad, you might have a problem. Sure, you can buy the EP2 with the integrated ceramic antenna, but what if you already have a couple of PT1s? Or you would just like to have the option or either the bigger and better dipole or something just smaller. Luckily there is a way, because there is a very simple way of making the Express LRS 2.4 GHz antenna that is much smaller than this one, does not require you to make any modification to the receiver and can be made out of basically almost everything that has the IPEX connector at the end. So you can either convert this antenna or for example the IPEX pigtail I got from AliExpress almost for free. All we will need is the ruler or the caliper, some kind of the pliers to cut the wire, some kind of a knife, the pigtail with the IPEX connector and something to write on the cable. Step 1. With the marker make a mark on the cable around 1 or 2 millimeters from the IPEX cable and then mark 20 or 21 millimeters from this mark up the pigtail. This is the length of our antenna. Our antenna will have active element of around 20 millimeters, and as I checked with my VNA, this is the correct length for this kind of the coax cable. Bear in mind, if you will use a different coax cable, the length of the antenna might be slightly off. However, because this is the LoRa modulation, this is extremely forgiving in terms of the length of the active element, and most probably everything between 20 to 25 millimeters will be just fine. Next step, cut the cable. Then, with a knife, remove the insulation and the shielding between two markers on your cable. You see, the insulation is off and now the only thing that is left is to nicely and slowly cut the shielding on the cable. And that's all. Be very careful not to cut the active element and the internal insulation, but if you are careful with a knife, you should have absolutely no problems. And this, basically, is our antenna. If we will measure this again, the active element in this case has around 20 millimeters and it should be just fine. It's a very good idea to secure the shielding over here. You might just use the, a drop of the CA glue. I, however, will be using the plastic tip. Now, when the CA glue or the plastic drip will dry out, we can proceed to the final step. And the final step is to remove the existing antenna just by pulling the plug of the receiver and attach the antenna we just procured by, well, attaching the connector to the correct socket. And that's all, our nano antenna for the Express LRS 2.4 GHz receivers is ready. You might ask the question, but is 20 mm the correct length of the active part of antenna? And the short answer is yes, I do own the VNA and I tested, I checked, and the, with the pigtail I used, the 20 mm length of the active part of the antenna was exactly the length we needed. Why? Because of physics and the fact that every cable has something called the velocity factor. If you would like to know more about the velocity factor and the antennas, here's the video for you. I'm Paweł Spychalski, thank you very much for watching and happy flying!